In this video, I'm going to discuss different methods to create a gunnel. In both Gen 15 and 16, I created pockets on the gunnel and then I inserted PVC pipe into those pockets to create the gunnel. But with a 4 feet wide sheet, I have to fill sections of chloroplast on the side of the 4 feet by 8 feet sheet. In this example, I use a butt joint to attach the extra piece of chloroplast. I use a piece of wood and a metal sheet to cover the areas that I don't want to be heated. Then I applied heat to the exposed areas and wait till the plastic edges are completely melted. And then I push the two sheets together. I place the wood piece on top so that the fence the joint will be flat. Be sure to wait till the joint is almost fully cooled down before attempting to remove the wood, or else the plastic may still attach it to the wood, and if you remove the wood too soon, you may damage the joint. I use half-inch diameter PVC pipe for the gunnel. Therefore, I used a slightly larger, the three-quarter inch diameter metal pipe to help me to create a round shape. I apply heat on the top and also the bottom of the chloroplast, and then I press it against the metal pipe to create a round shape. I will let go once the chloroplast cools down and retain the, the round shape. Because the length of the slot is about 2 feet long, the heat gun cannot generate enough heat to complete the fusion process in one step. Therefore, I have to do that in two separate steps. I applied a lot of heat to the top piece you can see bubbles being formed on the surface. Then I apply heat onto the bottom sheet also. Please note, the heat gun is aiming at the top sheet, and I held the top sheet at an angle. Then the hot air will then be diverted to the bottom surface, and keeping the bottom surface warm. I use the wood to control the spreading of heat during fusion. I pressed it and held two pieces together till the joint cools down. I repeat the same process on the other half of the joint and then complete the joint. I can only shoot hot air at an angle into the gap. I place a sheet of plywood under the heat gun so that the nozzle will not be accidentally touching the chloroplast. A partially fused joint is okay. You don't need a perfect one. I overheated the top piece. You can see a hole is being formed there, and I have to repair it while the chloroplast is still hot. I moved the chloroplast to close the hole, and then I allow it to cool. I also use the plywood to help with closing the hole. I can also heat up a small piece of chloroplast and patch up the hole. This is the fused slot. Now you can see the repair the hole. It doesn't look nice but it works. If I do this again, I will try to cut the long piece as shown here, so that when I do the second part, I can see what's going on and will not apply too much heat. If you are not comfortable using heat fusion to make the gunnel, I'm going to share with you an idea. There's a caveat that I have never tried this before, 
but I believe it will work. And it will be very easy to do also. Let's say this is a cross section of the canoe. And then I, I'll use a chloroplast, a small sheet of chloroplast to create a loop and mount it on the side of the canoe. I make one end longer and I will explain why I want that. After you create a loop and you can use zip tie to secure the chloroplast onto the wall of the canoe. The reason why I want to have longer piece of chloroplast is because when I build the floor for the canoe, I can insert both sides of the floor into this slot here created by the extended piece of chloroplast. Uh, that will prevent the floor from sliding or moving. I suggest when you use the zip tie, uh, try to tie it in this fashion. The reason is because the channel going in this for and F direction, it will create a stronger binding between this corpus and also the side of the canoe. Another option, instead of making a loop on top of the side wall of the canoe, you may arrange that extra piece of corpus as shown here. And when you insert the PVC pipe into the slot, the pipe will be braced against the side wall of the canoe and makes the side wall much stronger. The first method, add another inch and a half or so additional height to the side of the boat. I apply heat to the corpus and then I use a pipe to form it into the shape I want it to. I hold on to it until it cools down and it can retain the rounded shape. And you can secure this piece onto the side wall of the canoe with zip ties. And I suggest you to space the zip ties around three or four inches apart. I will talk about fusing two four feet by eight feet sheets together in my next video. Please stay tuned. Again, thanks for your support and subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so, please do, so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.